And, if, and here is Joseph's response. He trying to reason with this woman. He said, there is none greater in this house than I. Neither has he, your husband, kept back anything from me but, but you. He said, I can't reason little. Because thou art his wife. It's interesting to me that even in an Egyptian culture, which had a polytheistic, they believed in many gods. Like Hindus, a polytheistic religion. They have a god for rain, a god for fertility, an elephant god, and gods. They have plenty of gods. They have a cow for God, everything a god. We are a um, monotheistic religion. We believe one God. The Lord their God is one. But it's interesting that even in a pagan, listen to me, I'm sitting home right now, even in a pagan society that have hieroglyphics upon the wall, it's amazing as black people, you want to go back to Egypt. You know how much pagan cultures and yeah, I did that study, real study, that study and understand that some of this Egyptian stuff and all this cool angst and all them, some things with weariness and culture we ascribe to is demonic and dark. But we're loving the things and fashion and we don't even understand some of the things. Study a little bit back to see what Egypt all about, no? The same Egypt and the roots land, the mama land you come from. Ah, kind of gods they worship, and we want to get back there. But isn't it interesting, even in a pagan culture, an Egyptian culture, some things were off limit. That marriage and the sanctity of marriage, even the pagan Potiphar that Joseph worked for, understood that marriage is sacred. Everything I give you, Joseph, but I cross that line with my wife. And them are pagans now. Them are believers in the living God, Jehovah now. But they draw a line and say, no, 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 no cross here. They held marriage as sacred. What about us? In the age of Dashway, in our work, throw it away. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Don't matter. Cheating, sex, nothing. Adultery, nothing. Women proud to go on Facebook and Instagram and say, I am the side dish. Women go on Facebook and post and declare that I don't want to be the main woman because the main woman have to wash and clean. I, and have t-shirt, proud side woman. Websites out there that you go on to commit adultery. You must be married to go there because it's married people with adultery is what they target. So if you're in a marriage and you want to cheat, they will find somebody for you to cheat with who's also married. In such a time like this, I just find it very interesting that even in a wicked culture, their man say some things you know violate. Hello? 